to identify the different parts of an embryo of a dicot seed pea gram or red kidney bean seed is a ripened ovule which contains an embryo or tiny plant with a sufficient reserve food material for the development of an embryo gram seed is a dicot seed formed in a small peel or legume its outermost covering is called seed coat endosperm is absent in a dicot seed an embryo has an axis with a downward pointing radical including a root apex radical penetrate seed coat in generating seed branches profusely and becomes the primary root system ma'am how can we identify the plant embryo plant embryos and seeds have structures called cotyledons a cotyledon is the central portion of a seed embryo to which the epicotylus the immature shoot and radical the immature roots are attached plants are classified according to the number of cotyledons present in the embryo if the embryo has one cotyledon monocotyledon it is a monocot plant and if there are two cotyledons dicotyledon it is a dicot plant let's do an experiment to identify the different parts of an embryo of a dicot seed pea gram or red kidney bean our aim is to identify the different parts of an embryo of a dicot seed such as pea gram or red kidney bean the materials required are germinating pea gram or red kidney bean seeds distilled water cotton wool forceps needle petri dish filter paper procedure soak some beans in a petri dish for 24 hours in distilled water and keep it at a warm place then remove the covering of the seed coat of a bean gently with a fingernail and open the round end of the bean place the open bean under dissecting microscope and observe the different parts observations the dicot embryo has two cotyledons it has an embryonic root called radical and an embryonic shoot called plumule which contains two main parts that is picotyle and hypocotyle the epicotyle is the portion of the embryonic stem above the point at which stem is attached to the cotyledon while the hypocotyle is the portion below the point of attachment it is found connected to the radical precautions conditions for the seed germination should be optimum that is warmth adequate moisture and oxygen should be maintained care should be taken to separate two cotyledons so that the embryonal axis is intact thank you ma'am you have given a great knowledge through this experiment